Hey, hey everyone, Donald Ray Abbott here again with another video. FDA to finally outlaw soda ingredients prohibited around the world. So here we go again, let's talk about it. An ingredient once commonly used in citrus flavored sodas to keep the tangy taste mixed thoroughly through the beverage could finally be banned for good across the U.S. The FDA proposed in November to revoke the registration of a modified vegetable known as BVO in the wake of recent toxicology studies that make it difficult to support its ongoing use. The proposed action is an example of how the agency monitors emerging evidence and, as needed, conducts scientific research and studies to investigate safety-related questions, as well as takes regulatory action when the science does not support the continued safe use of additives in food. This is James Jones, an FDA Deputy Commissioner for Human Foods. He also explains when announcing the proposal BVO, or brominated vegetable oil, has been used as an emulsifying agent since the 1930s to ensure citrus flavoring agents don't float to the top of sodas. This is something I experienced early in my career, having to work with BVOs, and for the last 20 plus years, I have not used this product. The problem is, is sticking a dozen bromide atoms to a triglyceride creates a dense oil that floats evenly throughout the water when mixed with less dense fats. So it does not float to the top. Yet, that's not BVO's only trick. Animal studies have strongly implied the compound can slowly build up in our fat tissues. With bromine's potential ability to prevent iodine from doing its all-important work inside the thyroid, health authorities around the world have been suspicious of this emulsifier risk for decades. In fact, BVO is already banned in many countries, including India, Japan, and nations of the European Union, where I spent most of my youth as well as adulthood working and living, and has also been outlawed in the state of California in 2022, dating back to October of that year, with legislation due to take effect in 2027 to totally ban it as well, completely. Yet the FDA has been slow to convince. In the 1950s, the agency reported and regarded the ingredient as generally recognized as safe, this is a term we use in the food industry is GRAS or what we call grass. An official classification afforded items that have either been appropriately tested or for ingredients in commonly used prior to the 1958 FDA rulings don't appear to be harmful. That changed the following decade when questions were raised over its possible toxicity, promoting the FDA to overturn its grass classification for VVO. BVO and temporarily limit its use to relatively small concentrations of no more than 15 parts per million exclusively in citrus-flavored drinks. Data on the risk proposed, even these small amounts of BVO over time hasn't been easily collected, relying heavily on long-term studies that reevaluate health effects in a significantly sized sample of people. Yet, the evidence have been slowly mounting. A UK study in the 1970s found bromine was building up in human tissue with animal studies linked high concentration of BVO with heart and behavioral problems. It's taken time and a number of other studies, but on the back of more recent animal studies, based on relative concentrations of BVO, humans are likely to ingest. The FDA is finally convinced there is significant and enough evidence to ban its use altogether. Most major soft drink companies are fortunately ahead of the game. PepsiCo and Coca-Cola have been phasing this ingredient out of their product over the past decade. Over the years, many beverages makers reformulated their products to replace BVO with an alternative ingredient. And today, few beverages in the U.S. contain BVO. The ban could be a sign of more things to come, says Jones. Announcing the agency is reviewing regulations that authorize the use of certain food additives with a view to automatically prohibit the approval of any food coloring agents found to cause cancer in humans or animals, making for a more nimble bureaucratic process. A final call on FDA's reclassification of BVOs still needs to go through a lengthy review process. That will take time to complete. With suitable alternatives to BBO already, being used to make citrus drinks around the world taste tangy 
down to the very last drop, the ingredient isn't likely to be missed. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, stay blessed. Donald Ray Abbott is out.